Hi, thanks for tuning in, and welcome to another featured presentation. Today we have another gaming headset from Onikuma. This one is the Onikuma K2, high performance professional gaming headset. So after the break, I put the K2 to the test and we'll see what this gaming headset can do, so stay tuned, because that's coming up next. So I'm back, and this is the box the K2 comes in. And to the back here we have some specifications. The speaker has a diameter of 50 mm, and a frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. It shows that the headset has a speaker impedance of 16 plus or minus 15% ohms, and a sensitivity of 116 decibels plus or minus 3 decibels. The microphone has a 6.0 micro diameter by 2.7 mm, with a sensitivity range of minus 38 decibels plus or minus 3 decibels. The mic has an impedance of 2.2 kilo ohms and 30 hertz to 16 kilohertz frequency. The cable length is 2.2 meters. So I will just take a moment to do a quick unboxing. In the box, you have the Onikuma K2 headset and a user's manual. Let's take a look at the design. If we take a closer look, the first noticeable feature is the size and design of the ear pads. The speaker itself is 50 mm with a skin texture protein earmuff for comfort and protection. The microphone is positioned on the left side and it can flip back to a vertical position if you don't need to use it. On the outer part of the ear pads, there is a red color LED light to add some style to your gaming appearance. There's also an LED light to the tip of the microphone, adding to its stylish appearance. The built of this headset feels strong and durable. The headband is adjustable, with a chrome nickel accent on each side, really adding to the style and appearance of this headset. So I'm here at my computer. And before I go any further, I would like to demonstrate how easy it is to set up this gaming headset. On my front panel I have two USB ports, a microphone jack and an earphone jack. To connect the K2, simply plug in the USB cable into the USB port. The microphone jack into the pink port. And the earphone jack into the green port. And that's all it takes to get started. Adjusting the volume on the headset is simple. Simply adjust the volume control button on the console. Also, you have an on and off switch for the microphone. There are no buttons to control the style or illumination of the LEDs, and in this model, there is an LED light at the edge of the microphone that looks quite attractive. It's time to begin testing the sound quality of this Onikuma K2. For this I have my completed DIY binaural microphone sound tester, designed especially for testing headphones and earbuds to give you real-time sound capture quality during any activity you are doing with your headset. To begin testing the sound quality, I will test the K3 using Microsoft's Dolby Atmos video samples. Welcome to Dolby Atmos. Please put on your headphones. It's a new way to experience sound. Unlike stereo, which is limited to two audio channels, Dolby Atmos can manipulate individual sounds in 3D space to position sounds all around you. Sounds can move above you, far away, or right up close. Let's compare. This is stereo. And this is Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos can build worlds of sound to tell any story. It catches all the little details. Puts you in the center of the action. It sounds just like the real world. And transports you to faraway lands. 
Go inside the story with breakthrough sound. Dolby Atmos. The sound quality of the K2 is surprisingly really clear and powerful. Its bass is really deep which is great for movies, music and gaming. The high-end fidelity is nice and high, and the mids are powerful and clear. At no time did I experience any distortion or flapping of the speaker drivers, with the volume turned all the way to maximum. Another important test to perform on a pair of headphones is a deep bass sound test. So I have a YouTube sound sample lined up for this test and boy you're going to like this one. This price range to deliver that level of deep bass. And by the way, you have to turn it down a bit because the powerful bass can get really heavy and can cause some discomfort for some people. The track used in this test is from another YouTuber, and a link to that video can be found in the description area to check it out and subscribe if you like. For my final test, I'll be testing the K2 for what it was built for, which is gaming. In this test, I'm using the K2 connected to my computer, and the binaural microphones are connected separately to a recording device to capture the actual output of the headphones. So I'm all set, and let's take in some gaming sound action. Well there you go. That was quite a sound experience from this headset, and it really delivered on the surround sound experience. In summary, the Onikuma K2 I must say is a really good gaming headset for the price. I really like its deep bass and how powerful it is when you need it to be. To me a headset is all about surround sound and high quality sound experience. The K2 delivered just what I needed to play games, watch movies, and listen to music. It is well built, stylish, and it cost only $26, can you believe that? So if you would like to get your hands on a pair of the Onikuma K2 gaming headset, see the link provided in the description area below this video or on my website where you can get it at this unbeatable price. Thanks for watching this featured presentation. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button. Share it with friends, and subscribe to this channel for more TV Box Stop presentations.